Okay, this is the tutorial that I promised on how to add complications to your Apple Watch face. So what we're going to do is, obviously, you can see this is my home screen. I'm going to go into where I have the Apple Watch app. I think this is the easier way to do this. You can do it on the watch as well. I think it's easier to do it on the actual phone and using the watch app. So let's go into the watch app. And on here, you can see, you know, obviously what you're probably familiar with, which is all the options. And then your face is up top. What we're going to do is I'm going to add a new face. I, we're going to add, I've got a couple of infographs here that I was testing uh, before I made this video. So I can make sure I was uh, showing you exactly what I think you want to use uh, for the particular user that uh, I'm making this video for. So I'm going to add another infograph uh, watch face because it has eight complications that can help you utilize the complications in the way you used to use the dock, which is give you access to the apps you need in the shortest order possible. So let's click down at the bottom of the screen on face gallery. And that pulls up the face galleries. And as you see in the face gallery, you can tell with some of these faces that with the little circles at the top left hand corner, the modular ultra face, uh, those circles, those are complications. Same thing with the activity watch face here that I'm sort of highlighting, uh, the second one from the left. Uh, and you can see as you scroll through here that some of them do and some of them don't have complications. Some of them, like the count up watch face, uh, those have, if you see where it says 72 degrees, that is a complication. So the four quadrants. Uh, the exterior quadrants of that watch face have complications, but we're going to go down to the infograph, which is what I started with uh, and what I had been testing for you. And I'm going to click the second one uh, from the left. So this has eight complications. It has the four circles in the center, and then it's got the four complications on the exterior. So that's giving you effectively eight apps that are quote unquote docked, if you will, uh, that give you quick access to them and, and actually is slightly quicker than clicking the button on the side of the watch to access the dock. Uh, so, so in a minor way, this is a little bit better, but it also is not available on all the watch faces. So I still uh, contend that removing the dock is a poor move. But I digress. So let's talk about how to add these complications. So let's uh, let's come in here and do a little custom color. Uh, I'm going to pick Carolina blue. I'm a North Carolina guy. So here's Carolina blue. Uh, and here are, as you scroll down, here are the complications. So again, there are uh, there's eight of them. There's four on the exterior quadrants, and then there's four in the center. So I, I, I sort of like the center ones. I think they're a little bit easier to click, and they're a little bit more clear as to what you're clicking on because they have a little uh, picture that sort of shows you what it is you're clicking on. So if you look, subdial top already has heart rate, which is one of the ones uh, that the user I'm making this video for wanted. And then let's do subdial left. And let's find, let's pick your, uh, your O2, uh, so uh, blood oxygen, that'll work. Um, and then I think home app is another one that you wanted. So let's move that to uh, home. And then I'm going to pick my security system for subdial bottom. I like having my security system with easy access to turn it on, turn it off. Uh, that's particularly helpful as I'm pulling in the driveway. Let's see, CPR security. And then, of course, you can come in here and you can, so like top right again is the temperature. Uh, you could change that to whatever you want. Again, you kind of come in here and pick some of these different apps. Um, but those are, those are four additional complications that you have. Okay, so we want to uh, now click, so to complete this process, we want to click Add. Okay, and then that takes us back to our face gallery. And then let's go and click on the bottom of the screen here to my watch. And you can see these are my faces. These are the two infographs I was using to test before I made this video. Here's the one we just made together. And click on that watch face and then scroll down to the bottom. And now you have a new option, which is to set as current watch face. And now you have a new watch face with complications that contain quick access to the apps that you are looking for. I hope this was a helpful video. I'm sorry for the experience that you've been having on the support. 
uh, board, I've kind of had a similar experience and I'm also sorry for the health situation that, that uh, you had recently when you were in peril and couldn't find the app that you needed. I hope this helps get you to a better place with respect to using your Apple Watch for the way that you bought it for, which is to help you with your health situation. All right, take care out there.